When asteroids strike the surface of the Earth, they create tremendous amounts of heat. And many of the big impact structures around the world have glass associated with them that sprays out and surrounds the region. Now, uh, sometimes uh, when the impact happens, molten glass will also fly up in the air and out laterally great distances. And as it falls back down through the air, it becomes streamlined. So I have uh, uh, some of, some of these the, uh, this impact glass here today. And um, what I'm arranging now uh, covers about 15% of the Earth's surface. And uh, it's from what we call the Austral-Asian tektite field, centered over Southeast Asia. But we can find the glass even in the central Transantarctic mountains, and it covers a huge area of the Pacific Ocean. 800,000 years ago, something really dramatic happened uh, in Southeast Asia. Uh, and uh, this, this glass is, uh, is black. And uh, as the objects would come into the atmosphere, uh, back into the atmosphere, they would sometimes uh, tumble and then snap apart. So, the, for example, uh, as this one was tumbling, this would this snap apart to make this glass. Now, the glass is very high temperature glass, uh, much higher temperature than volcanic, the equivalent of volcanic glass. So these formed at about 2,000 degrees Celsius. So these were very, very uh, hot at one point. So uh, these are the ones uh, from Southeast Asia. There are some from Central Europe also. There was uh, an impact there. Uh, and uh, it's called Moldavite. It's really a beautiful green glass. There's a lot of Moldavite jewelry. Again, uh, this is one of the little droplets uh, uh, that came through the atmosphere. Another beautiful deep green uh, piece of Moldavite. So that covers quite an extensive area uh, in Central uh, Europe, uh, especially uh, Czechoslovakia it has a lot of this stuff. But by far, my favorite tektite uh, is uh, Libyan desert glass. It's very interesting. Uh, some of the first mechanized mapping uh, using uh, automobiles uh, was done prior to World War II. And a lot of the, of the British uh, that were doing the mapping there uh, stumbled across these fields of this incredible glass, and they never could figure it out. Uh, but um, it's called Libyan Desert Glass. If you've ever seen the English Patient uh, movie, uh, it's shot in that region, and some of the uh, figures in, in the movie uh, were based on actual people. Uh, so check that out. This is the beautiful uh, Libyan desert glass piece right there. Again, just uh, high refractive index here. Just beautiful stuff. And sometimes you can see the layers of gas bubbles uh, in, in this in this material too. So this was. Uh, Something very unusual happened about 28 million years ago. Some suggest uh, it was an asteroid that broke up in the atmosphere and became a fireball. And then when the fireball came down, it spread out and melted the bedrock to generate this glass. That would explain the lack of any crater, certainly. Although some tektites are associated with definite uh, craters. Uh, the glass uh, was used by, by people of the Arterian uh, culture uh, to make uh, tools. Um, we have some points and uh, work glass here uh, as well. So um, tektites are among uh, uh, the most interesting of uh, 
Let's see if I can. Tektites are fascinating. Move that wash down. Tektites are fascinating. There's a cut piece there. They show us where very large asteroid impacts uh, did occur uh, in the geologic past. Okay, you can see this material uh, on a visit to Cranbrook Institute of Science.